Hello and welcome back to City Skylines. Last time we built, we began building in the very least, this high density area right over here. Look at it, it's brilliant. Apparently there's some trash problems, but that's going to be fixed soon enough. I mean, we built half a thousand incinerators over here. We also fixed some traffic problems on this roundabout by building this disgusting spider situation for the industry. Which is actually doing quite a good job of moving everything out. Which is great. Brilliant. Okay. Now we need to continue. And I have noted that I have not given our high class district a particular name. Which is quite unfortunate. Every place needs a name. And it's not going to be the Underhill District, although quite frankly it's quite apt. No, 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 no. This shall be... Ah, uh, the... The Novella Plaza. You see, these people do not um, dawdle in such small things as comic books, no. That is so low class, they can't even believe ever thinking of touching a stinking comic book. Instead, they focus entirely on reading the Victorian novella all day long. Whether it happens to be, um, what novellas do I know of? I don't know, Heart of Darkness or some other novella. I can't, I can't really remember very many novellas. I don't really differentiate them from novels all that much. What does it matter? They know all about novellas. Nobody else really cares all that much. But these guys, they care so much, it's ridiculous. So, that's what they're all on about. And they're, of course, being posh, being like, Puh, you read comic books all day long. It's a waste of paper. And the people over here are like, it's not a waste of paper. It's actually really cool. You should try it out sometime. And they just will not do it. It's crazy. Dude, look at that guy shredding. How are you keeping up speed like that, mate? That is ridiculous. My goodness, what a man. Okay, we have high, ugh, we have heavy need for uh, residential areas, so we should begin expanding this high density area as we try to figure out what exactly these people stand for. Because everyone needs to stand for something, and these people are no different. What in the world do you care about? A high density area. Filled with people who are hustling and bustling along in their days. Do they have time to read the passive comic book? Who knows? They're incredibly business savvy. They care a great deal about profits and adequate use of time. So who knows what they care about? I know what these people care about. They care about knowledge and learning. So what does that leave them to read, one might ask? National Geographic. Exclusively. Literally nothing but National Geographic is read in this section. It's actually to the level of just plain concerning. I'm actually frightened by these people because how can you just read National Geographic? I mean, what would compel someone to do that? It's so terrible. Those poor people. Well, at least they know all about, like, hyenas and friggin', like, lions. The occasional cultish sacrifice. It's bound to be in National Geographic at some point. Come on, people. You all know. You all know I'm right. Come on. No, I'm just making it up. Maybe. Maybe not. Look. Doesn't matter. It's all good. Okay, we're gonna throw this on here. What are we going to call this place? <sighs> Let's just do the big swath there. This shall be called National Geolandia. Geoland. Dia. There we go. They, of course win all of the geography bees, literally in the world, because they know the most in the world about geography in general. Which I guess is a good thing? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm one for geography, but maybe not knowing as much as they do. I mean, they literally know where Andorra is. 
I'm gonna ask you right now. Do any of you know where Andorra is? Unfortunately, I know where Andorra is. It's a tiny little country smashed between Spain and France. Nobody cares about Andorra. That being said, if there is anyone from Andorra listening to this, which I highly doubt, um, I'm sorry. I'm sure your country is fine, but on the other hand, you are a tiny little country wedged between two quite important countries. Perhaps you should consider being annexed by one of them. I don't know. That's just my that's just my personal opinion. Don't come and try to, like, I don't know, firebomb my city for it. That would be quite unfortunate. I wouldn't enjoy that, actually. Look at how stupid this road is. Can we just take a second to admire how dumb this is? Why is it? Oh, it's got a little curve there. Oh, it really tests their ability to drive. My lord. Ah, oh, stupid ramp. 2015. Can we put a little district in here? There we go. Victoria Park? No. Dumbest ramp. 2015. Enter. Close. We have now memorialized it as the stupidest on-off ramp in history. There we go. Okay, so we also put uh, some commercial districts in here just to continue to expand the, um, what is it? The commercial. Really, it is actually just expanding the commercial because we needed more commercial. There was some demand for it, and I was like, I can meet that demand like nobody's business. Should probably also consider throwing some offices in here. We can put it right in amongst the... Um, housing because it doesn't create noise pollution or pollution pollution or terrible mutant creatures of any kind it's really just a nice place offices outside of how they're dull and soul destroying and I completely forgot that I destroyed this and never fixed it and so nobody's been able to bike anywhere period is terrible okay we're gonna rebuild this bike path I remember noticing this during my editing previously, and I was like, oh, Lord, that is terrible. Nobody can bike anywhere. What are they going to do if they can't bike? Probably die. That's all that I can imagine that they would do. They won't, they won't die. They'll be fine. I swear they'll be fine. If they're not fine, then I think it's more their fault than it is mine. Okay. Let's also build a bike path between... Uh, should we do it between these two areas or just... We'll at least start with having it between Darville Square and... What is that? The National... National Geolandia. That's what it is. So we've now got a bike path there that allows people to go directly across into National Geolandia. If they for some reason care to do that. I don't know why they would, but I'm sure someone wants to. Is anyone going to take it? Anyone? Anyone? Anyone want to go on the little bike path? No? No? Okay, fine. Fine, people. Fine! I build you nice things and you don't want to use it. Fine! Whatever! Do your thing, then, you little pricks. Okay, let's, um... Let's also build one coming out of here. I'm sure in the future it will become a hustling and bustling little bike path. We'll have it connect right up to here. Beautiful. Now there are bike paths extending their tendrils across the river in an attempt to get to National Geolandia, where they can learn all the geographical facts they ever didn't want to know. Um... Hmm. Why? Just why? Why? Oh lord, the traffic is expanding like nobody's business. We need a rotary here. Was this made by a European or by a European company? Is that why this, the rotaries are so friggin' necessary? Because I'm gonna tell you, Americans are not happy about rotaries. They're all like intersections or nothing. I don't want to have to go in a circle. What, what do you want about a circle? Nobody cares about circles. I just want to go straight all of the time. 
and of course everyone else is like, well, dude, it doesn't really matter. Just just ride the freaking rotary. It'll be fine. They're like, no, maximum efficiency, and they start stabbing people in the eyes, and that's the point at which they're just like, the other people are just like, okay, fine. You you can have your intersections. Just stop stabbing people in the eyes, please. <laughs> please, it's terrible. You can't just stab people in the eyes. And, of course, that doesn't exactly fix things because they still continue to stab people in the eyes because some people are just too stab-happy. It's ridiculous. I don't know if you've ever met a really stab-happy person, but if you have, um, I'm sorry. That's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry for you people. Hmm. I see potential problems occurring with this setup. See, they have to go all the way around to get to here. What we're going to do is... We're not going to change the direction of the rotary because I think that could cause problems in and of itself that are probably a lot worse than the problems we currently have. And it's best to stick with the devil you know instead of the one you don't. So we're going to go like that. Oh, please, 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 let me do it. No, no. Okay, fine. It's not going to let me do it. Oh, you little prick. Fine. I'll do it like this. Look, I'm going to use an off-ramp. I'm going to go up, go directly over here, and then directly down into there. There we go. So that should cause traffic to flow a bit nicer through that roundabout. It also means that if people later on, when there are connections down farther, they'll be able to get off... They'll use the outer area to move all the way around to here, and then go in. What is that guy doing? What are you doing, green car? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Anyway, oh lord, there's a lot of traffic coming in, isn't there? My god. My god. How can we make this flow even smoother? By seamlessly cre working out this. Okay, how can we make this into a more seamless situation for the people? The best way to do it would be to turn these into one-way roads. One-way roads. No, we need one-way roads. So we're going to have to turn this into a six-lane. It's going that way. That's perfect. We want to switch these guys into single-lane roads as well, going the opposite direction. And that should work out there. Okay. That might cause some problems on this side, actually. Um, that could be pretty bad. There's a chance. Because these are the services. Namely, the fire station is currently on a one-way street in just a terrible spot, which is really bad. Um, now nah, we're going to have to leave it there. That's unfortunate. Because if we were to move it over to here, it wouldn't have this particular road covered, and that would be terrible. Huh. Well, we're definitely getting cars moving. Maybe we could speed this up by... So there might be a chance of speeding this up by making it easier for these people to turn into this... Um, off-ramp. So what we're gonna do, people, we're gonna build a curved road. We'll come right off of here. Come down and connect. No, it's just, it's just gonna have to connect like that. It doesn't want to connect anywhere else. That's unfortunate. We're also going to have to switch its direction. There we go. Fine, people, if that's what you want, so be it. It has been done. I'm sure that'll clear itself out soon enough. Hmm. Yes, I'm sure it'll be fine. Wait. Um. By doing that, that also means that these people actually have no way of getting out of here. Oh, no. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That two-way road was kind of important, wasn't it? We're gonna have to change that into a two-way road, aren't we? There we go. Wait, nope, that was wrong. Like this. Boom, that makes a two-way road. 
Oh. Oh, this won't be easy, will it? Because now they have to stop there and get on that way. It might be easier if... Okay, what we're going to do... We need a complete reworking of this situation. So what we can do to try to fix this situation just a bit... Let's have it go like this. We'll have it come up like that. Page up. And get into that area. Now, rise, you fools! The slope is still too steep. So we want a small connection here. So that we can make a road coming off of that. That then will divert outgoing traffic that away. So we're going to make the connection right here. We're going to have a curved road come like this. Perfect. And it'll connect right up to there. And we're going to have that be a one-way road so that it is perfectly fine. Anyone who wants to get off takes that route. And then we'll have this be a one-way road going into the city. And then we'll have to convert these back into two-way roads, unfortunately. It's, it just has to happen because this is the only way in and out of this, this section of the city at this point. If we don't do this, uh, nobody's going to be able to get out. So that mm, should fix the situation just a bit. Yes. Why is everyone leaving the city now? Oh, that, oh, that's interesting. I don't know what's going on, but I guess it was causing some problems, the fact that nobody could get out of the city. <laughs> well, I think that's actually needless to say there were some problems caused by the fact that people couldn't get out of the city. That just makes sense. Oh, okay. We're also going to alter this slightly. It's not a great system. What we can do is have this... We want these both to meet up in the same intersection so that there aren't two intersections that people are stopping at. Instead, there's just one. Have that link up there, and that is a better system. Kind of. I mean, it, it'll work slightly better than the other one did. Later on, we it might be possible to have an in and an out roundabout, which would make actually a lot more sense, which we can actually set up right now. We really should set that up. Okay, we're going to build an in and an out roundabout. This one will be the in roundabout because it's so nicely built for being in. And we're going to build an out roundabout. Can we build a large one? No, it doesn't fit. So we're going to build this guy. That is terribly uncentered to the main road that it's supposed to connect to. Good lord. So we'll build it right here. We'll cut off the little nodules because nobody cares about the nodules. Don't you understand? The nodules are worthless to everyone in the world. It's so terrible. And we'll build it right here. Oh, good lord. Oh, good lord. Why have you terribly manipulated the roundabout to the point that it can't connect any roads to it? What is that? <laughs> what is this? What is his blasphemy? What does that even mean? That's terrible. Oh, good lord. Don't do that. That doesn't make any sense. Which contractor said that that made sense? Find them and kill them immediately. Please. They're terrible creatures, whoever they are. They deserve the death that's coming to them. My goodness. I mean, the terrible melding that occurs right here is bad enough, but the melding that occur oh, I can't- not even gonna- not even gonna go into it. It's terrible. And then we'll just completely annihilate this. Perfect. Perfect. Now everyone has to come down here to get out of the city. And they go down here, and you'd say, oh, this will cause terrible traffic jams in the rotary. But I'd say, no, it won't, because anyone who wants to leave the city has to go this way and come up this way, and it's perfectly fine. Look at it. It's perfect. 
Don't question it. And that'll also reduce backups here because now it's only a four-way intersection instead of a five-way intersection, which is disgusting. Nobody cares for five-way intersections. And traffic is now actually moving pretty darn smoothly. Love it. Love it. National Geolandia has done its job. Man, look at those highways. They are hustling and bustling like nobody's business. So many highways. And this thing... Oh, 14,000 people. Thank you very much. I'm very happy about that. Got a water treatment plant and a crematorium. Crematoriums will be quite nice. Uh, that's brilliant. Any unique buildings? Luxury hotel, casino, zoo, driving range, fantastic fountain. Oh, very nice. We actually have a fantastic fountain. How is our public transport doing, by the way? 517 per week taking the bus. Nice. Solid. That's solid. Look at all the traffic going on in here. All running quite smoothly out of an industrial sector, which is crazy. That never happens. Well, that with that, um, a commercial building has burnt to the ground. Do we have a fire station down here? We don't. Why would we not have a fire station down here? Boom, right there. There you go. Have that, people. Are people dying over there? Stop dying. Why would you go to a commercial place and just die? What's even going on in there? Do we have to send an inspector to figure out what's going on in there? Don't make us do it. I will do it. Don't even question me here, mate. Let's just put one in National Geolandia, just in case they need it. Okay. Well, as I was going to say, that brings us to the end of the episode. Look at what we've done. We've expanded our um, high-density area actually quite a bit. And we fixed the traffic, at least for now, into a nice, flowing, circular pattern. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we will continue to expand National Geolandia. Expand the commercial district on the other side. We're probably... Oh, Lord. I was thinking of other things that we need to do. There's other things. We should switch to water treatment plants over here. And then... We need to expand the public transportation network as well. That's going to be important. But until then, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.